May profits be upon you. Welcome to another weekly Forex forecast. We're looking at uh, the NASDAQ. All right, we're looking at NASDAQ futures. If for those that are following along uh, who trade CFDs, this is NAS 100, NAS 100, right? Uh, the contract I'm looking at is the NQM 2024. All right, so uh, all of you can follow along. Now, I have a bullish bias for NASDAQ. Why? Look at these series of down close candles, then look at the series of up close candles. You'll see that in the up close candles, you have a close above these, these down close candles. What does that mean? This is the change in a state in the state of delivery. All right. And when price closes past that change in the state of, the, of delivery, when we have a, a candle body close, and we also have a candle body close above the market structure shift. All right. This is the top of the the, the this is the the swing high all right the swing high and once the swing high is broken with a close above all of these are bullish indicators they are confluences and and i should mention that i don't you can't validate a an order block without a fair value gap this that blue area here uh once i see the fair value gap has been formed in the formation of a bullish order block it gives me a lot of uh, confidence in price holding should price come back to uh, test this area, it'll hold the support. Okay. Now, having said all of that, let's look at, you can see why I'm bullish here. All right. Uh, let's go to the daily. And what, what do I see? All right. You should know that once we take out uh, uh, swing highs that you expect price to end up uh, retracing, pu pulling back, uh, uh, back to that uh, that breakout area. All right. So you have to be patient with it. You should be very patient with taking buys at the highs. I would not recommend taking buys at the highs unless the setup it has a bunch of confluences and you'll take it on a lower time frame. All right. I'm talking about uh, you, you enter your trade at the 15 minute and below. All right. But for the most part, once it takes out uh, swing highs, I wait for price to pull back. I wait for the pullback. All right. And then I will wait for the change in the state of delivery to, where price goes, uh, the, the price action goes from bearish to bullish momentum. All right. So, uh, uh, what do I have here? I have a bullish fair value gap here. I have a bullish fair value gap here. You see price is moving uh, with some purpose a to, to break that swing high. All right. Price did pull back to it and you see the result. The reaction is very positive and you see price pushing up. We've already closed past. Oh, we already closed past. We haven't closed yet. This is a new candle. We've, we've gone past the high of Friday and I'm looking for that weekly high, the previous weekly high would be the target the draw on liquidity and that should have a little dollar sign above it boop all right now uh let's look at the four hour to see if we can get any kind of detail guidance all right you can see as this is playing above that uh that swing high breakout area all right we pull back forming a very bearish uh, uh, fair value gap along the way. All right. Price takes out, uh, uh, well, sweeps this market structure here, sweeps that low. All right. But we don't close. We don't trade through that market structure. All right. That, that, that low here, that swing low, we didn't trade through it. We held, it held here. It held here. It held here. And then we traded through the fair value gap. All right. When I say traded through, I mean, we closed above it. We didn't just wick past it and then uh, close below it. We traded through. This is a very bullish indication. And another confluence is we created a bullish fair value gap along the way. Price did come back and test that fair value gap. And then we see the result. The reaction is very positive and we are heading towards that swing high. All right. And that is the insight I was looking for this. What is this going on here? Oh man, 
I'm not uh, getting what I need here. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, we got it. We got our, our target, and that is my analysis. We are bullish, and we're heading towards this high at uh, 19023. All right. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit a like if you did, and check out one or, or, or both of the two videos that are on your screen now. May profits be upon you.